So I'm back with another review slash unboxing, and today's gonna to be some sunglasses. So a lot of places, it is coming up to summer, or it is summer, like here, where it's baking hot and you need sunglasses every day. So I thought I would do a review of some new Persol sunglasses I got. So I do have several different pairs already that I'll do comparisons. So these are the, the classic 714s uh, known for being worn by Steve McClure. Queen, kind of made them famous in the 60s and 70s. Uh, this model first came out in the 1960s and comes in, uh, I think, about four different colours on the site. So I've got uh, the kind of tortoiseshell colour and then the plain black, and then these ones are like a special edition uh, folding pair. So they come in a nice little box, great little presentation box. And I really like the little case that it comes in, a nice leather case. Inside you've got a little leaflet about Persol and their sunglasses. You've got a little cleaning cloth. And then you've got a little booklet about, uh, you know, special edition Steve McQueen. So, you know, it just says thanks for buying it. it. gives you a bit about information about the sunglasses. Congratulations, you've acquired uh, the re-edition of the 714 as worn by the icon of style, Steve McQueen. So apparently comparing, uh, if you read about it, between these these kind of normal pairs that don't fold, uh, there's meant to be an extra 10 steps in manufacturing for uh, this pair. So they're a little bit more expensive. So these retail for, I think it's, I think it's 486. Yeah, 486 US dollars. So let's open these up. So you got a nice inside, you got a nice protection belt to keep them clean. Very handy for traveling, just fold them up. They're kind of reminiscent. I've got the, um, the uh, wafer uh, folders as well, so it's very similar to that. So they're quite stiff to open, which I suppose is pretty good. Opening up here, there you go. They do have a bit of a weird thing here, I think. So when you when you unfold these, you kind of have to bend them down under. So it's a little bit of a weird, you, know, you kind of be worried that you'd break those. Let me just focus that on there. So they do have another pair that is like a special edition that is this color. And it's called, the, I think it's called the platinum edition. And uh, the, the sides, the arms kind of fold downwards instead of uh, instead of out like that. Let's fold the other ones. Alright, it's a bit out of focus there. I don't know what that was. I think it's focusing on the lettering. Right, so are they worth it? So I think they are. They're kind of, for these ones, these are. I feel a middle ground, like if you're, you know, these are very classic kind of piece. If you're buying a Tom Ford pair of sunglasses, I have, I think maybe four pairs of those. They're, you know, several hundred US dollars more. And these are kind of in the middle between, I suppose, relatively cheap and, you know, way too expensive. So Tom Ford ones, I haven't had any that have got polarized lenses. These do have polarized lenses. The difference for polarised and regular lenses is meant to be better for your eyes in terms of reducing glare and things like that. I do find I don't really notice the difference. The only difference, in fact, I do notice between polarised and non-polarised is that it's harder to read your phone if you've got polarised lenses because it kind of, it just, it kind of uh, makes the screen look black. So um, yeah, I, I don't really have any preference. These ones just happen to be polarised. Um, but. You know, these ones, I don't believe these two pairs are. So just compare between the two. I do like, I mean, I like, like the design features of you know, both pairs. I like these little metal design features here. This looks pretty cool. It's got this extra bit of metal here. They are pretty flexible. The only thing about this one is it does pick up a lot of dirt, so you have to kind of get a pin. You're gonna get a pin there and it kind of cleans it out. So 
So back to these ones. So yeah, I think these, I mean, they're more convenient for travel. Um, I tend to also, when I fold sunglasses, I tend to hold them. I wear V-neck t-shirts quite a lot, so I, or shirts, so I kind of hook these in, the, you know, in my shirt. Um, if it's folding like that, I don't know if it would cause an issue. I mean, they're very, very stiff, so these are very well made. These are handmade in Italy, so I don't anticipate it being an issue. So overall, yeah, I mean, I've had always good experience with Persol. Um, a lot of the lenses I've had have been very good in terms of, you know, if I've got uh, Oakley's or some other brands, they seem to crack around the lens even after about two years of usage. Um, you know, I do wear these in swimming pools and in the ocean, things like that, uh, on boats. So you know, I want a you know, pair of lenses and uh, sunglasses that are gonna last and be pretty durable. So overall, yeah, classic pair, um, worn by Steve McQueen or made famous by Steve McQueen. I think they're really good quality. Do need a bit of a clean. And I think the travel aspect and the extra design features, this metal makes it look pretty cool as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.